Kara and Dr. Basavaraj Kuntoji, Consultant Physician at Manipal Hospital, Malayshuram. As you all are aware that dengue fever cases have been increased and the recent papers also shows that almost about 25,000 cases all over Karnataka has been found to be positive and almost about 12,000 cases are positive in Bangalore itself which uh, also have included few deaths also. Hence, based on these numbers, the Karnataka government also has announced as dengue as an epidemic disease. So why we need to know about this and I will tell you the briefly about the clinical sign symptoms and how we can prevent. As you all know, dengue fever spreads because of the mosquito bite. So whenever there is an infected mosquito bite happens on the human individual, after an incubation period of two to three days, they will start having a high grade fever, severe back pain, body pain, headache, and sometimes we, of, we recently are seeing a possibility of having a sore throat also and uh, most of the patients we are able to manage them at home but however some patients requires an admission so hence what we call it as a warning signs if somebody has got a severe uh, vomiting severe pain of the men if the platelet counts are less than 60 or 50,000 if the liver enzymes are severely deranged these are the patients who require an admission and uh, and we have a and we, we should be able to give them an appropriate supportive care for this dengue uh, patients and uh, how to prevent this uh, dengue fever so we all know that prevention is always better than the cure so hence what one can do individually at home as a community as a government i will be able to tell you as an individually to prevent the mosquito bite we advise one to wear a thick full sleeve shirt and a pant and uh, better always to wear a socks as well as the shoes so that uh, mosquito bite can be prevented one can also use the mosquito repellent lotion which are available and we also advise them to use the mosquito repellent coils either at their home or at the workplaces or at the uh, schools and colleges also apart from this mosquito breeding sites around the house and inside the house such as water stagnant pots, tanks and uh, the water stagnant around the park also has to be uh, removed and uh, we need to also spray the mosquito repellent spray all over the garden areas more so during the morning as well as the evening, evening time and apart from this as a community we also need to take care about the uh, big water tanks as well as the wherever the water is stagnant and also at the park areas also. If you take all these precautionary measures, definitely we can prevent the spread of dengue fever and thereby dengue related complications as well as the death also. Thank you.